Well, whether you're talking about Google Daydream, Google Home, Google Assistant, or Android Instant Apps, Google I.O. was a tech geek's smorgasbord. First, let's start off with Google Daydream. From the humble beginnings of Google Cardboard a couple of years ago, Google has stepped up their virtual reality game with the announcement of Google Daydream at this year's conference. Daydream encompasses everything Google has planned for virtual reality, including standardizing requirements for smartphones and headsets, as well as baking in the new virtual reality mode right into the upcoming Android N. The DIY nature of cardboard is no longer a possibility with Daydream, it just doesn't meet the technical requirements. But the good news is that a lot of OEMs like HTC, Samsung, LG, and Huawei have already announced their Daydream VR plans. Apart from third-party OEMs, Google will also release a headset and controller. Google has also set the minimum requirements for smartphones that lean towards the high end, dubbed Daydream Ready, which will allow for the fast and seamless experience that Google is aiming for. On the developer side of things, a VR mode will be baked into Android N and is already available with the third developer preview that currently includes a VR optimized version of the Google Play Store and YouTube. All hardware and software will officially be released this fall, likely alongside the 2016 Nexus smartphones. Now moving on to Google Assistant. And for many, Google Now, or OK Google, has been a key part of their Android experience. And Google continues to make things even better, especially with their announcement of Google Assistant. The beefed up voice assistant comes with a lot more functionality than what you're currently used to in Google Now. And interacting with it is almost conversational in nature. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out the live demo of Google Assistant during the keynote to see how simple and seamless the experience is going to be. Google Assistant will be available later this year and will run across numerous devices, including smartphones, tablets, and even your car. Now let's talk Google Home. Google Home is the company's answer to Amazon Echo and is a compact wireless Bluetooth speaker with a built-in mic that you can interact with using a voice assistant. In this case, it's Google Assistant. It lets you enjoy entertainment, manage everyday tasks, and get answers from Google all using conversational speech. Home also acts like a Chromecast and lets you play audio wirelessly or connect to speakers and enjoy content on your television. You will also be able to use Home to control automation systems like Nest. And finally, also take advantage of Google Now and Google Search using the device, all with simple voice commands and conversations without needing to reach for your phone. Google Home will officially be available by the end of this year. Now, Android Instant Apps, as the name suggests, is a quick and simple way of accessing apps without having to actually download it. This is ideal if you're looking to use an app for a limited time or only during specific occasions. When a developer updates their application to support Android Instant Apps, simply tapping on a URL will give access to a full-fledged Android app. When the user clicks the URL, the Play Store will be able to search for that application and download only the code necessary to run the app. You do get the full functionality of the app. So for example, if you're using a shopping app, you'll be able to use your fingerprint sensor to authenticate payment. Google says Android Instant Apps will work on all devices running Jelly Bean or later. Now let's talk Allo and Duo. During the keynote, Google announced two new communication apps, Allo, a messaging app, and Duo, a one-to-one -one video calling app. Allo will tap into your contact list, and the app will be linked to your phone number also, similar to WhatsApp. Allo features stickers and emojis, just like most of its competitors. But what makes it different is a feature called Whisper Shout that lets you resize text to better express your feelings instead of resorting to something like all caps. Ink lets you draw images, and Google Assistant is also built into the app. Now, Duo is a simple one-to-one -one video app that aims to make video chatting much easier. No matter what platform you're on or how fast your data connection is, like Allo, you'll be able to use your phone number to sign up. The coolest feature of Duo is called Knock Knock that shows a preview of what to expect when you answer a call. Basically, if someone calls you on Duo, you'll get to see them in front of your front-facing camera even before answering it. Allo and Duo will be available soon, and you'll be able to pre-register for them right now. Now, most of you will be very happy about the news regarding Project Aura. We finally have some concrete information about this device. A working prototype of Project Aura smartphone was shown off during a special session at Google I.O. and there was a lot that was revealed about the device. The phone will have six slots in total and you'll have the option to add any module to any slot and you'll be able to swap between various components without needing to shut down the phone. 
That's pretty cool. We don't have a lot of information yet on what the various components and modules will be, but a developer version will be available later this year with a commercial launch expected in 2017. Thanks for watching Android Army. Be sure to check out the article in the show links below if you want to hear much more about Google I.O. There was a lot more information that I couldn't cover in this short segment. Talk to you soon.